Hold on, Mike's not facing me. There we go. Alright, well, I'm just gonna try to make use of my time, because I don't know when my PC's gonna die, so hello everyone, this will be on YouTube. Hey Tyrant, how you doing? So, a very big update came out for Saurian, Bape Hunter, how you doing pal? There's... There's only been a couple of... Thank you, Vixel. Man Mean. How you doing? So, there's only been like a couple of updates for this game. There's going to be three, four crocodilian-like animals. I'll get into that in a second. So yeah, let's start off. There's, a, there's been a major update. So, in terms of creatures... Jesus, there's a ton of people here already. Um, the game came out. Another patch came out with the Bone Butte Bird. And then it just sort of stopped for like a couple of months. But now suddenly this big update came out. And yeah, sorry for the people on YouTube, but I got to reference the people in the stream for a bit. Because hey, I got a ton of lovely people here. John Gallagher Gibbons. Rob Ford. Diamond Buffalo. Oh, it totally is not Vixel. It totally is not. I, Actually, I do not know. I, it's either... Monitor with an E or monitor with a O. I don't know. I've always just used the O for some reason. But yeah, who else? Mads Meme, Paleo Freak. How y'all doing? So, yeah, let's just start off with the encyclopedia, I guess. Here's the new Triceratops model that they updated it. Triceratops Porsis. 8 meters. That's about 25 feet. For all Americans out there. Uh, nine tons and a herbivore. I like these terms. Non-avian dinosaurs are like that. And, and it still keeps it in like sort of a relatable sense. Like non-avian means not a bird. Yeah. Okay, so they're going to be extremely temperamental. Yeah, even adult T-Rex must take caution. Gila monsters are monitors, by the way. For, so a lot of people don't seem to know that, but they are monitor lizards. Just a pretty apt character type. So what about a Cararaptor? A Cararaptor Temer... Jesus Christ, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Two meters, six feet long. It's pretty much a Velociraptor of Hell Creek. If you took a Velociraptor and put it in Hell Creek, this is what it would be. Hell's Plunderer. That's a pretty cool name. They live a more solitary lifestyle than the larger Dakota Raptor. What about Pachycephalosaurus? 4.55 meters. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah. I you can you can see that they're going with the stitching Moloch and Draco Rex being juvenile and sub adult packies. I'm surprised they didn't really go much into behavior in this one. You'd figure with the packy memes going around that they would do something like that, but no. Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Twelve meters, six tons. Is it really six tons? Uh, uh, last I checked, it was nine tons. But then again, it might just be the imperial metric system screwing with me again. De Palmas or okay, so this is the bone butte bird, right here. So small, but at least we can properly see the model. Yeah, during the Cretaceous, birds started to like become more common. Even though birds did survive the extinction, even as a group, they didn't really do so hot. Only like one main family of birds out of like all of them 
survived very much. Same thing happened with crocodiles. Only the mainstream, only like the mainline crocodiles we have today survived. The rest became extinct during the KPG. Now we got Borealisuchus. Right here. I think I'm going to skip Pale... I think I'm going to skip these last three, except for the Champops. I think I'm going to skip the Bracky Champs and the Paleo Swanua, because that's the last two. So yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure T-Rex was heavier than that, but I'm not going to quote the... But I'm not going to go against the the people at Soaring and at work here. Let's see, we got the Borealisuchus, which is about the size of the average Nile Croc, I think. Sternbergy. The most abundant of the crocodilians in Hill Creek. And this species actually survived the KPG, apparently, according to what this is telling me. Like, not the crocodiles not only survived as a group, but this guy just bored through the extinction event, which I think is pretty cool. Alright, biomes. Cypress Swamp. I'm going to skip through these pretty much. Just look at the pictures because I'm not as interested in this kind of stuff. So you've got the Cypress Swamp, the Redwood Forest. Oh yeah, I remember. I don't think... Yeah, I've been in the Redwood Forest. Hardwood. Fern. Yeah, bit of a typo there. <laughs> bit of a typo. The beach. On the edge of the Western Interior Sea. And the bluffs. So yeah, that's the encyclopedia. Now without further ado, let's start a new game. Coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. Code. Whoa, okay. That's new. That's new. So we got we got to name it a code raptor. Choose the name, people. Frostbite the Ice Carno. Welcome. Name the Dakota Raptor, folks. You can also say the gender as well. All right, so we, we seem to have a contender. We got Bork, the male Dakota Raptor. Casual. Okay, so they got their own game modes now. Casual, normal, and realistic. Casual. Okay, so this is basically easy mode. Normal. Okay, that's regular mode. I'm probably gonna play that. And then realistic. It It's essentially... Hardcore mode. If you die, you have to start all over to a baby, which I'm not gonna do because I want to see everything that's new. So, yeah. Let's do this, people. So, my main goal is to find some of the new stuff. Like, I want to see. Because I also got a Saurian Guide update. You guys should know that if you checked out the Steam for this game a little bit. And I also got new pictures to do, so. Whoa, they updated the... Hold on. Let me decrease the graphics a tad. Let me decre decrease the graphics a tad, because they add a lot more plants since I last played. Let me put it to a medium. That ought to do. Oh, different save files as well. So we got... Bork the Dakota Raptor. How does one load a save file? Hello? Oh, okay. Thank you. That's That seemed obvious, but... That was the same button for going into the menu, so I didn't expect it to be that basic, but it was. Alright, that's better. Hello. 
I'm gonna follow our parents. Alright, so I gotta keep on the lookout for Brecky Chapsa and Paleo Swanua. That's what I'm looking for. I wanna try to face them as a hatchling too, because I gotta see how each life stage copes with them, you know? So far, I'm doing okay. I'm following my parents. They're actually sticking together, which I like. It seems that they improved on the AI slightly, albeit my sister wandered off. We'll be able to add out Bios of Melanistic Dinosaurs. I believe that's going to be in the works, and each one will have a set of advantages and disadvantages. Ah, <sighs> God damn it! I'm following the more smarter individual. So we're heading down to the water. Is that... Okay, he got free. What are you after? Oh, bird, 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 bird. Damn it. Oh, don't tread on me. To be fair, this game does have the smartest AI of any dinosaur game right now. Albeit it's still not that impressive, because most haven't attempted at it. <laughs> so, let's see. So, I'm going to try to prowl around while my parents are playing in the water. And just see if I can find a bird. I don't, I don't think they gave sense to the birds at all. Because they don't really wander around, they just sort of sit in one spot. Oh, hold on. That's a lizard. I got- you gotta go on the land anyway. Come on! Damn it. This thing turns on a dime. Come here. Got him. Whew! Okay. Nom 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 nom. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. You can't spam meat anymore. You gotta wait for the animation to play through. Hey? Yeah, that's mine. I worked for that. Pachycephalosaur over there. Hmm. Pachycephalosaur over there. No crocodiles, surprisingly. They seem to be pacing. So, oh. Alright, he's onto something. I think. Make your mind up. Oh, he got a lizard. It was a mono lizard last I checked. I mean, technically it's an anglomorph, but that's technically just a mono lizard, really. Are y'all just gonna stay by the seashore? Or the lake shore, or whatever? Wait, where'd the other parent go? Yeah, he's gone. Dang it. Oh well. I can live on my own. I've done it before, I'll do it again. Might as well, I have to go looking for these guys anyway. Oh, shit. Dang it. Alright. So... This place is oddly void of crocodiles. Let's continue to prowl around.
I mean, eye color, meh. That doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, it's raining. And and rain reduces your scent range. So, yeah. I didn't rely on it much before, but... Oh, dang it. Where are you going? Oh, they're blue. They actually add a scent color to them. Okay. Okay. Come here. Oh, wait, what? Well, that's a bug. Thank you. Can I eat you now, or...? Well, that works. Can I... eat now? I think I bugged myself out. Let me just say, let me just relog. That's a bug. They gotta fix that. And the bird's gone. Wondrous. Okay. So let's continue to prowl around. Look for food. Looking for the new beasties. There's something in this bush. Whoa! That was a... We found one of them, I think. Yeah, that's a Bracky Champsa. They removed the battle music, which I think is appropriate. So yeah, Bracky Champsa. The Borealisuchus is the crocodile, the Bracky Champs is the gator. Oh no, the music is here. So let me see, how will I handle this guy? I'll test him. Well, bam. Well. Oh, they're actually eat you now. It's actually really nice. There you go. So yeah, do not mess with them as juveniles. <laughs> or whatever. So they just removed passive saving, which I like. It actually gives you consequences for dying. Somewhat. But yeah, we found Brecky Champsa. The Quetzalcoatlus and Hell Creek weren't that big. They were like, if they if they landed, they would be about man height. The ones over here. So let's find some Paleo Swanuas or whatever they're called. Pachycephalosaur up there. I don't know exactly how big the Ketzels in Hill Creek were, but they were about man size. Oh, there's a bird over there. Hey, Red Raptor. How you doing? Okay. Let me sneak up on this bugger. Save up stamina. And the main... Unlike the Chamops, you really just have to rush these guys and hope they don't fly up in time. Well, natural selection, I guess. Whoa. Whoa. I gotta see... See this. Fight. 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 Gator versus Packy. Come on, Packy. Stomp him.
We got him. That's more food for me. Let me just eat the rest of this bird up real quick. Thank you, Packy. Packies really need to be hostile towards younger Dakota Raptors. They really need to add that in. Apparently, they're planning to do that, and they just haven't added it in yet just for the sake of, like, how the game currently is right now. Well, that sucks. Red. Oh, what's that over there? That's an Akira Raptor, I think. In the distance. Better eat this before another predator comes along. Anything bigger than a Chamops has been discovered in Hill Creek is gonna get added in, so don't worry about it. At the appropriate time, obviously. Oh, Triceratops is coming down through the water. We get to see the new model in action, I guess. And here it comes, just for a little stroll. What was the biggest turtle you know of? Um, Archelon. And I believe there was some other, like, Carbonemus is another one. And then there was, there was one other one, I forgot what it was called, but it was another, like, sea turtle type. Jesus, this, this thing has a lot of meat on it. The largest one, yeah, the largest one today is the leather, leather back. Alright, Stupendamus, that's the one I was looking at. And it's Nightfall. I think I'm just gonna go to sleep. Hopefully the carcass will still be there in the morning. And it is. Nom 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 nom. And that's the end of it. Okay, time to move on. Paleo Swaniwa, where are you? Just gotta prowl around until I find one. I own a reptile, but not a turtle. I heard they're like really stinky. I always conserve a bit of stamina. Another packy in the distance. Oh, Tyrannosaur. Tyrannosaurs in this game are have like this very, very like eerie feel about them. Like right there, I just saw him in the dim light. Just standing there. Motionless. It was freaking me out. They're silent as well. It's scary, man.
I saw another croc over there. I think it was a Borealisuchus. I want to find a bracket Champsa by the water. Oh, here's one. Just hanging out. And yeah, I'm just gonna leave you alone. I already know I don't stand a chance against them in a fight. Oh. What is that? That looks like an Akira Raptor. I'm definitely gonna run away from that. and exploring the world. I'm not going to stage up until I find one, so. Let's see. I heard they're fairly small, so. Let's see. Oh, a okay, raptor. I saw the tail. Bail. Do the crocs interact with one another? I do not know. That's actually a very good question. If... Uh, I mean... I don't think Quetzalcoatl, the, the North Europe species, was extinct by the time that showed up. I just think it, that species lived further south, didn't it? Over by Texas, and areas like that. If the crocodilians go by a different crocodilian species interact in real life, then they'll probably just ignore each other. Give or take. Oh! If you sense it, they highlight. Okay. This makes hunting them a lot easier. You, you can't smell while running. Come here, you little shit. Ooh, almost had him. Where? I think I got him. I got him. No, no, no. Okay, so. No, I'm gonna. It may happen while I'm I'm out I'm up and about looking for him. So, I'm not gonna actively try to make it happen right now. That'll come later. I just gotta find some. Hey, let's, I just gotta find some gila monsters. Let's see. Come on. I'm on the hunt. I'm gonna try to get a better graphics card around Christmas time, so I'm. A, I'll prob. It's mostly for Monster Hunter World because I'm a big fan of Triceratops up there, but it'll hopefully allow this game to run better too. I mean, I don't think the run the game runs terribly. In terms of the graphics, I really think that it's fairly well optimized right now. I think it's definitely improved since the release. I'll tell you that. Need some gill monsters. What if I just run in? No, I'm not gonna do that. I haven't saved in a while. You wouldn't want to be an animal during this time. Like, it's a fun game idea, and it's a fun concept to imagine about, but. I'd rather not try to get my... And there it is. 
Let me just save real quick. And check them out. Okay, so just any animal near you highlights blue. Whenever you sniff. Or any edible food source. Which suggests that I may be able to take on this guy. So let me just check him out for a minute. Hey, buddy. Oh, guy, he's actually kind of quick. Okay, okay, okay. This this guy actually might run me down. I can easily outrun him, but Jesus. He's, he's tenacious. Yeah, yeah, advance to the next growth stage. I don't care. What are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do? Ooh, miss me. Oh, he bit me. I think. Because it's fine. I saved, like, just before. So. Apparently there is mild venom. Alright, I'm gonna get out of his aggro range and try to charge him again. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, I want to sneak up on him. Oh, the venom is really, really minor. It's really, really minor. It's actually wearing me down. So I'm gonna try to... Shit, he saw me. Yeah. You really don't... Load. Hey, Rob Bob, how you doing? So I'm gonna try to do that again, except we're gonna try to sneak right up on him. Alright, he's over there. So what I want to do is attempt to sneak up behind him and just go in for the kill immediately before he has a chance to react. Go! Nope. Not an option. These guys are no can do. As a hatchling. I'll be he didn't kill me immediately. Like the Bracky Champs or Okay Raptor did, but Even then not a grand idea. So yeah, I'm I'm just gonna leave you alone. Maybe I can come back for you later as a juvenile. So let me just head down this way. I'm doing well. I'm working on a Zoo Tycoon video right now, and I'm gonna be honest, I haven't even started on the 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 first Mistaken Truths episode, but it'll happen. Don't worry. So yeah, I'm a juvenile now. So let me see if I can run back. If, if he's still there, I'm gonna see if I can take him. Do you know when they're gonna add bigger animals? When they get to it, I guess. I'm assuming they want to start with the smaller animals first in order to like fill up the world and to give the smaller guys more stuff to eat. Okay, a okay, raptor there. I gotta be careful. I think they- oh, no, 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 he saw me. Okay. 
He just growled at me and moved off. Okay, he didn't chase me. Oh, speaking of which, I believe they added, like, calls. Since I last played. It wasn't part of this update, but they did a while ago. That display, F. Oh, so that's what that is. Okay. I don't think that does anything. Okay, last I checked... Lizard. Oh, the Paleo Swine is still there. So let me try to... Ah, oh, screw it. It's fine, I'll eat this guy instead. So I'm just gonna save it. I'm gonna try to pounce him, because I know you can do that. Next animal's gonna be Ornithomimus and Deskelosaurus, alright. Finally migratory, which means Anatosaurus is gonna be last. <laughs> Go figure. Okay. So I think... If I can pounce the crocodiles, then I think I can pounce this guy. Oh, hold on. Did they add in the stealth system? I'm not too sure. Let me see if walking up to this guy does anything. Let me just slowly prowl on up. If I make it past this bush and he still hasn't noticed me, then I know this works. Stay behind him. Okay. He still hasn't noticed me. So the stall system is in. Oh, I'm bigger than he is now. Let's see, I line it up. Shit, shit. Let me try that again. Denverosaurus. Hmm. I think they just want to get some form of Ankylosaurin. Yeah, the, this guy is venomous. I don't know how potent the venom is yet. Why is he walking towards me? He doesn't notice me yet, because when they start out, they initially charge you. Did you see? I, I don't think I did. Oh, okay. He turns back on me to move in. By the way, anybody who's actually informed about dinosaurs in here, can you tell me a bit more about the the Troodon declassification that went up in like August or something? Because I still don't get it. I want to pounce you. Oh, oh, let me just wait for him to tire out first. I'm on him. I'm on him. I'm on him. Whew. Okay, if I just keep doing that. It's a Paleoswania, not a Megalania. The, it didn't live during the Dinosaur Age. So, let's see. Nope, not quite. What happened to Troodon? It essentially split off into two species, I think. Stenonychosaurus and some other type of name that I have no idea how to pronounce. Gah. Okay, problem is, he's able to get me while I'm on his side like that. Oh, the Venom got me. Did it? I looked away for one second and checked the comments. The heck was that? Oh. Something else. Oh, a Cararaptor. Oh, better watch out, dude. Oh, we got him. Well, I weakened him first. I don't think that counts.
I mean, exactly where do... What are the differences between Stenonychosaurus and whatever the heck that was, and where do they congregate? Because it just raises a ton of questions. So yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that anymore. End of story. Right, now let me just fi try to find the Brachychamps, I guess. Oh, there's another one over here. Not messing with that, thank you very much. Packy still ignore me. For some reason. I mean, I know that. I know the general consensus of why they're different species, but what step- what stands the two of them apart? Where do they live? What time periods do they exist in? Yeah, that, that just about sums it up. That's- that sums up what Paleo Swan was. I gotta find some water. There we go. Whatever that name is. Lefty Venerix. Gill monsters are monitor lizards, by the way. Just an FYI. I remember that happened in the latest Tierzu video. If you don't know who Tierzu is, look him up, he's great. He did a video where he brought monitor lizards. It was a lizard related video and he brought monitor lizards, and everybody in the comments was like, Why didn't he bring up the Komodo Dragon? And he was just like, Guys. Guys, it's a monitor lizard. Do you guys not know that? <laughs> Same with the Gila monster. It's also a monitor lizard. Where do you think God's venom from? All monitor lizards have some form of venom. Most of them have it very mild. With the exception of the Camilla dragon, Gila monster, and Mexican bead lizard. The rest are... That's a pretty tame. Oh, there. I'm just gonna run away from you for a minute. How big in comparison? So let me try to sneak up on this guy. Doesn't seem to be reacting. Yeet. Whoa! Okay. Don't mess with Ninja Gator, apparently. Holy crap. Okay. Lesson learned. Okay. That makes sense. Because if I'm going to be doing the later documentaries, I need to know which is which. So that should be able to clear things up. Do-do-do-do. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Retreat. Why y'all bring up Indomnia? There's no point. I might hate the guy, but that doesn't mean you have to, like, every single stream has to be an insult fest, you know? Give the guy a break. Yep, Bracket Shamsa. There are two cro other crocodile type animals. I say crocodile type animals because one of them isn't a crocodile. We have Thoracosaurus, which is a gharial, and Champsosaurus, which is an entirely different species of animal. It's 
entirely different type of animal. It's not a crocodile. It's not even a crocodilian. So. I pretty much left the owl behind at this point. Like, I still support the Ilosorna group that's currently... You got to be kidding me. I got nowhere to go. Oh, I can stand by this Triceratops though. You'll be my protection. Come on, buddy. I need you. I'm definitely not going to bite your tail. Don't worry about it. I think I personally think the Isle is a great game. I really do. But it's just not the game for me anymore. Let's take a look at the water here. Oh, lizard. All right, here we go. Might have been already dead. I don't know. What are you pointing at? They're looking at something. Okay, so we got another bracket champs are there. You know what I think might be the problem? All of these guys are bracket champs. There's no Boreal Sukas around. You'd think they might have put them in different environments. Like this is a This looks like a Cypress swamp area. But if we go to a normal river, there might be like Boreal Sukas maybe. I don't know. Hey Zergos. Oh, that's that. Why? Oh, here we go. I think this is a Borealisuchus right here. Yep, these are Borealisuchus. Okay. I personally consider the modern crocodilian family that survived to today. I just call them crocodiles. It's very, very easy. You don't need to worry about this alligator crocodile gary old bullshit. You really don't. I mean, that's just personally how I pronounce it. When it comes to names like that, I don't think there's any right way to pronounce it, but I don't know. I need a drink. The heck? Well, that's a glitching shoreline over there. New night, by the way. You can actually see at nightfall, which is nice, but I'm still going to skip to today. There we go. Morning. Yeah, they really optimized it since the last blade, because normally sunrise and sunset would kill the frames. And what is that over there? Is it a Boreal Sucus? Yo, cause there's- Are they fighting? Hold on. I believe there's both the Boreal Sucus and Bracky Champs on the same lake. So, what I'm gonna try to do is lure them together and see what happens. Let me just save it here. I'm going to try to lure the Boreal Sucus that's close to me over towards the Brachychampsa. Yes, I have. A couple of times, actually. The, the Brachychampsa. 
Four to five meters is the Lati Berg or whatever. So I believe that might be what the ones up in Alaska are, really. So let me see. Hey, Borealis Lucas. Hey. Hey, buddy. You see me, right? Maybe I need to get your attention. Oh, God, 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 God. Shit. Well, I got his attention. And he's actually running a bit. Okay. They're not just crawling towards you like they did before. Alright. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna lure you over to this shoreline. Alright. I'm gonna try to get the bracket champs to come close. Okay, here we go. Wait. Hey. Hey, buddy. Do the bracket champs run from the Borealis Lucas? Is that what's going on? Okay, no, that's not. What, that's totally not what's going on. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do? What's going on? Okay, the Borealis Lucas is in those bushes. He's hanging right for me. Alright, so I'm just gonna back off now. Let me see what happens. Jesus, they really don't give up. Are you for real? They Crocodiles are not this persistent. It looks like the bracket champs to just avoid them. So yeah, I'm just gonna move on now. I don't need to deal with that. Oh, great. And now I'm trapped on this island. Let me just head over this way, I guess. Oh, grand. Now I got another one on me. Oh, wait, no, he's just basking. They changed the animation, too. They got a basking animation now. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, now I just gotta survive until sub adult, really. Uh, no, they're not. They're just like normal alligators and crocodiles. I don't really know where you got that information from. Wait. Okay, music stopped. For some reason, it just starts up randomly. I think I should stay near the water. It's where all the birds are. Crocodilians are awesome. And they're the smartest little reptiles as well. Just get a bit more comfortable. Um, oh, hello there. If you're not going to attack me, I'm just going to get a drink right now, if it's cool to you. Okay, never mind. See you later. Thank you. See, he stopped. He's chilling. Oh, 
the lizard. Gotcha. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. One more bite. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. A little void of life here. But then again, that's not really a bad thing, really. Oh, you got you got your oh lizard. Okay. Hatchling phase is the shortest phase. The rest of them take a lot longer. Taurosaurus is not a Triceratops, people. That was just... That was discredited, like... How many years ago now? Nearly... Over five. Over five. Over five years ago. Yeah, people still are still saying it. Another gator. Get him. Thank you. It's not even a debate. No, no, no. It's not even a debate. It used to be a debate, but it's not anymore. So I'm gonna be out of here for a while, I guess. The Packy looked like the Packy broke his back or something, like Jesus. We came across the Paleo Swanua a couple of times. Eat. I'm once I once I become a seven adult, I'm gonna go actively looking for him again. Um, the main thing is, while it, it is somewhat dependent on chance, unless they're really, really, really close relatives like the lion and tiger are, then they can't crossbreed at all. And usually, such crossbreeding results in very bad defects. Unfortunate circumstances to where they can't survive in the wild. Like, Ligers can't survive in the wild. They're too big and slow. Mules and Zorses or whatever, they're sterile.
Nom nom nom. It does happen outside of the species sometimes, like lions and like horses and zebras. But Yeah. It usually backfires. I told you, there are exceptions, but most of the time they don't go well. Most of the time. There's obviously exceptions. It's nature we're talking about here. You can't predict everything. No, no, no. You know what, real quick, y'all? I'm gonna take a quick break for a sec, and I'll be right back. <clears throat> Hello. They're essentially land crocodiles with venom. That's essentially what I noticed, really. And yeah, when it comes to dinosaurs of the same genus, there's plenty. Triceratops horridus and Triceratops porcus. Triceratops horridus is the one that you see in most dinosaur-related media. The very, very long horns that point upwards, while, tri while Triceratops porcus is the one with the curved horns in as in this game. Oh. Well, crashed. Give me a moment, y'all. There's also Allosaurus. There are three different species of Allosaurus. Fragilis, which is the most common one in North America. Ropus, which is the one in Portugal. And there's also one other species. I forgot exactly what it's called. It's also in North America, but it's a lot more rare. And there's also possibly Sorophaganax, being a different species. Allosaurus maximus, but that's a bit debated. I'm personally a bit skeptical on that. Yeah, there's two Velociraptor species as well. Velociraptor mongoliensis and Velociraptor... I forgot exactly what it's called, but it starts with an O. That I know. Where the heck did I spawn? I didn't spawn here. Oh, wait. Give me a minute. Yeah, I loaded in the wrong save file. Yeah, um, um, It's not, it's not robustus. It's not robustus. Um, uh, there we go. Well, my corpse is gone. Alright, time to move on. That's not Allosaurus, though. What's hiding in the grass? Lizard. Got you. No, 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 no. Hunting lizards become a lot more easier with that outline. Oh yeah, and Montosaurus. Which I believe are... I know one of them is a Nectins. But... Oh no. What's my age looking? How am I still only age... Ugh. Oh wait, no. I already passed a year. So yeah. There's... You're just gonna run? And fun fact, there's many different species that today that many think are the same, but they're actually two different species. 
There's two different species of warthog. There's two different species of ostrich. Two different species of gorilla. Two different species of manta rays. Oh. Damn. Come here. Got him. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Alright, see you, Frostbite. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, Figment, that was a thing. It's a bit debacled right now. Really. Alright, these are just fumes from the Triceratops. Oh, there's a couple around here. Whoa. Oh. He's got his eye on him. Triceratops looking back like. Oh, he, he knows. He's telling him to back off. What's the T-Rex going to do? I want to watch this. Still gonna stand there, buddy? Triceratops is coming in back. Oh. I think the T-Rex is making a move. I don't think the T-Rex actually wants to fight him. He just... What? Oh yeah, he's re he's retreating. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm gonna sleep up now. Do, 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 do. Don't you dare tread on me, Trike. Oh yeah, Oxalia. The I remember Oxalia. I mean, admittedly, our additional creatures mod helped this popularity a little bit. A little bit. There are there do there are people that argue that it's just a South American species of Spinosaurus. So, yeah. Oh wait a minute. Natural selection. No 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 no. 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 Another bird. Charge. Nom 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 nom. Getting a move on. <laughs> Let's see. What happened to Dinosaur Battlegrounds? Why did it die? I believe last year. I believe that the main dev pulled. I mean, I personally don't think the Stomping Land dev actually did this, but. He pulled a Stomping Land as a word and just. Ran away with all the money they kickstarted and all the resources. The team is forced. The remaining team that actually cared about the game is forced to start all over again. Which is a fancy term for saying that it died, essentially. Because they spent three to four years covering this game and the main dev just left. And took everything with him.
Lizard. I really think it was too ambitious anyway, personally. I really wasn't a fan, but... Nom 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 nom. I think what's in the past stays in the past. I'd rather not mess with time travel or bring back extinct species. Unless extinct species will be killed off. Oh, this one actually evaded me. I think. Can you stop dancing around my feet? No, I swear to God. Gotcha. They dance around your feet now. I think. You know what bothers me? I think... Eh, I don't know. I'm not gonna bring it up. Whatever. Yeah, Beast of Prey. That pissed me off. I personally think it was a trash game to begin with, but... I think it had potential, but then the dev just ran out. On it. Hey, my name is not Dave. Hello. Actually, now I think about it. I don't know. Does this threaten? Does this threaten actually stop anything? Whatever happened to Mezzoka? Oh yeah, it's still alive. It's coming out on. It's coming out in December, actually, on early access. Oh, T-Rex. How big was the Elopterix? I don't friggin' know. Its remains are so fragmentary, last I checked. Same thing with Tarascosaurus. You can't really tell how big that thing is, because you don't even know what the heck it's supposed to be in the first place. Which, to be honest... Uh, don't even get me started on Mesozoica, because I really don't like the game like the devs they're another matter I'm, I'm like friends with the community manager but the 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 game itself i really do not approve of in general i think prehistoric kingdom is a far better alternative and even then jurassic world evolution it pretty much killed both the games jurassic Pre prehistoric kingdom that still has a chance because it has the accuracy appeal along with it but mrs oak is just dead at this point. I don't know why it persists to keep going and why the fans still insist for it to keep going. The only reason why it's coming out in December is because they want to catch in on something before Jurassic World completely throws them out of the water. Which it pretty much already has. Oh, hello. Free lunch, I guess. Nom 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 nom. Oh hey, all right, Paleo Swanima. Let's let's test this. Hey buddy. Nope, it don't stop nothing. It's just aesthetic. Okay, just gonna run away from you then. You're really slow. Dauntless still has a chance because it's free to play and it's got it's actually quite different actually like No one's denying that it's similar to Monster Hunter But it's still quite a different game. I've I played it for a couple of hours and 
I believe it does hold up compared to Monster Hunter. It's not completely useless. Meanwhile, Jurassic World Evolution does everything Mesozoic is going to do, but better. Oh, hi, Gator. Didn't see you there, but you're not turning to me anyway, so. Yeah, Prehistoric Kingdom still stands a chance because it's got the accuracy appeal. It's got feathered dinosaurs and stuff, but Mesozoic, it's, it's dead. Just plain dead. How does it survive if it's so slow? Quick burst of speed, ambush. You don't need to be quick in order to get a meal. Me Mesozoica is coming out in December, but it's a dead man walking. It's a dead man walking. The only reason it's coming out in December is out of pure desperation because of the game, because of Jurassic World Evolution being confirmed. They have to come out before that happens or else they're going to get toast completely, which they pretty much have already. I think I'm going to try to cross this water. What are you staring at? Yeah, just scratch it. Here. Swim, little buddy. Swim. I don't mean dead as in the development has stopped. I mean dead, dead as in it's re re relevant as a game and it's going to die. It's it's ob the development obviously hasn't stopped. It's obviously not dead, but in that sense, but to me it's dead completely. And I don't know why to anyone else it's still alive. It's completely irrelevant now, completely. I mean the Benjamin. The whole idea behind this game is accuracy. So you're basically asking the game to not exist. The only one that's kind of the case that could be possible is the T-Rex being featherless and having scales, but they're sticking with the feathered route. Dino Dan? I never... Watch that show. It's that's a kid show, right? I heard it was actually. Is it good? I don't know why. Something's telling me that people said it was good, but I don't know. Oh my god, that motion blur! I think they are, Alpha. I think they are. Over an hour in the stream. Or an hour in the stream. Do you play Primal Carnage? Um, I love the original Primal Carnage. I do. I owe that game a lot, actually. Primal Carnage Extinction, though, it can die in a fire. It can, I'll drop in a pit of wolves. I don't care. I hate that game. Hate it. What all got added to the game? Um, two new creatures, two new animals, Paleo Swanoa and Brachychamsa. AI got a bit smarter. There's now like a scent HUD. You can see the lizard. You can see like smaller prey animals highlighting in blue when you're smelling. And a bit of bug fixes.
I don't even know what you mean by that. How many rivers do I have to cross? Oh god, that might have been suicidal. You can see an alligator right there, but he's not bothering to go for me right now. What happened to Primal Courage Extinction? It's just in general a very- aside from sheer content, the game is terrible compared to the predecessor. Completely. The game in general is polished terribly, the balance is much worse than Primal Carnage. Yet for some reason, it's the, still the most more popular two. I don't know why. I really do not. There we go. Have you seen the game Stick Fight? Oh yeah. The mod creator of addition, the additional creatures mod, Narc Shadlos. I'm friends with the guy, I work for a lot of his mods, he gave it to me as a gift. And to be honest, I have yet to play it. Mostly because I got better things to do, really. Oh, was that a T-Rex? Yep, that's a T-Rex. And I should keep running. I'm sorry, guys. If you like Primal Carnage Extinction, hey, I'm not gonna judge ya. But I could, I could, me, myself, I completely despise it. Completely. How am I doing age? Oh god, you can smell far. There's a paleo swan over there. Yeah, no. Like, Extinction, it might be okay if it was roleplay. Like, for the roleplay games. But. But. Like, the roleplay scene. I'm a fan of roleplay. I have died in the past, but... The thing is, a good 90% of roleplayers are utter shit. Like, completely. <laughs> it's either they have extremely short attention spans, just don't know how to play properly, or they just want to have sex all the time. And I'm just like, I want to have a proper story here. Really. Yep, the Paleo Swan was venomous. That actually killed me the last time I was fighting it. Hold on. Oh wait, no. It just a change of color. It's still green. Alright. So I'm gonna sleep now. How is that a big surprise? That's like a roleplay cliche. Alright, so Arcotech Project. It's, at the moment, just an Isle clone, pretty much. Just completely. It's got nothing that the Isle doesn't do better than it does. Completely. If it actually had some redeeming factor, then I'd give it a chance, but at the moment, no. Not really. And now I'm a sub-adult. Let's go looking for trouble. And why would I do that when Beast of Bermuda is coming out? Like... I mean, I don't know. That's one redeeming factor over the aisle, I'll admit, but... I don't really think that's enough to save it at this point. It's gotta come out with that new game mode that it promises. That's what it needs. A Bella Sword is the only one that's actually plausible. Carcaro dinosaurs and spinosaurids, they went extinct during that, like, extinction event a good 90 million years ago. So, yeah. I'm I think I'm just gonna jump back a- Shit! Swim! Swim! Oh god, he sees me! Swim! Swim! Friggin' swim. Whew. He thought- he decided it was not worth it. Jesus, that scared me. Whew. How well is Saurian run compared to Primal Carnage? Primal Carnage runs better. It's not that hard of a game to run. Really. Oh, that's a Borealisuchus. I already know how to deal with those guys. I'm looking for Bratty Champsa. 
Saurian is a lot harder to run than Primal Carnage is. So I gotta look for a gator. Oh, okay. I want to see if we can get some interaction here. Unless he's going to swim across. Yeah, they're heading down different pathways. Wait. Why did I look down? Oh, whatever. I need to eat something. I mean, it did last time I checked, but... I don't know. I just got to see how Sub Adult Dakota Raptor deals with a gator. Top five dinosaur games. Um, let me think. What are the options right now? There's Isle, Architect Project. I'm not counting Ark. I don't really think this is a dinosaur game personally. There's Saurian, Architect Project, The Isle, Collision Course. Primal Carnage, Primal Carnage Extinction. Yeah, I stream death. It's personally my all-time favorite multiplayer asymm asymmetry game. Primal Carnage, you can eat its dust. Death is amazing. Completely. What makes Ark not a dinosaur game, let me think. There's there's God knows the there's dinosaurs in reality aren't really like they do play a big part, yes, but they aren't really the main focus. You got you got a ton of modern animals. You got your boas, horses, sheep, electric eels, otters, stuff along those lines. You got giant, big ass obelisks, and then you got stuff that's downright fictional, such as you can ride bloody dragons and rock elementals and all that other stuff. Top 10 dinosaur documentaries? I think I'll answer that question once my Mistaken Truth series is coming through. Ugh. Scratch this. I can't hunt lizards anymore. I'm too big. I, why do people find Dinosaur Revolution so appealing? I'm sorry, but I absolutely hated that documentary when it came out. Here's my problem, because a lot of people claim that I'll call them out for using a lot of assets. My problem is, with the exception of the dinosaur models, the entire world that they created is the exact same thing. All the trees and stuff that they made were the exact same thing. Base of Bermuda is an upcoming dinosaur game I've covered in the channel quite a bit. It's essentially... A couple of dinosaurs on a couple of islands, and they try to survive each other. It's a lot more, it's a lot more combat-based than the Isle is. The Isle is sort of like a DayZ, while Beast of Bermuda is a lot more close combat eccentric. It takes about like, like two minutes of running to get from one side of the island to the other. Like, it's very like close. You think that the tyrant the all the plants that they bought the the plants the trees the water and stuff they're all the same they did they're, they're all bought on the unit they're all bought on the store just like the just like the base of Muna stuff is it's nothing new and also here's something else that bothers me why are they like shaming a game using types of assets specifically designed to cater to a developing game that doesn't have the money to make their own stuff yet. Like, that's exactly what the, those models are made for. That's their purpose. That is their purpose. Why is Dondi shaming them for that? I don't understand. Oh wait, am I... Okay, I, I was... How do I... I toggled trot by accident. 
I really need to eat something, actually. This isn't good. Trot. Oh, it's Q. Okay. Is it better than the Isle? Hell no. It's not. Absolutely not. But it has the potential to be. I mean, I I don't know. In my opinion, they're actually far too different games. Like, aside from playable dinosaurs, they really don't have much like in terms of play style and all that. They're pretty different, the feels. In, in the Isle, we got this big open world. And you don't really run into people all that much unless you're looking for them. And then based on Bermuda, it's all about the combat and the close-centric. It's also got this theme of air, land, and water being in balance in a sense. Like, there's stuff going on in the water and the air just as much as there's stuff going on on land, you know? That's a Borealisuchus, don't need to mess with that. Did Allosaurus and Cartier dinosaurs have a hatchet bite? Probably not. I don't even know why that was a thing to begin with. Because first off, you don't really need... Scratch it, I need food. I need food. And... Okay, back to what I was saying before. Chair dinosaurs and allosaurs. That their, their mouths were just knife drawers. I don't know why you need to create extra power behind that. When I mean, you could just bite and chew into a victim and they'll eventually bleed to death. If you stab something with like 50 knives, it's going to do that to them. You don't really need to put extra power behind that. Beyond that, using a hatchet bite would be a terrible idea. Do you know how much potential there is for hitting bones? Especially on the spine, which is where the hatchet bite is often targeted towards. It doesn't really make much sense. It doesn't really make much sense. There's no real logic behind it. Do 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 do. Exploring a new world. I got my Paley Swanua and Bracky Bracky Champsa. I mean, I don't see why they do that anyway. Like, there's not really a point behind that anyway. Like, I know that they'd they'd obviously try to get extra force behind it in order to get deeper into the animal, but it's still not really a hatchet bite thing, is it? No, not necessarily. I'm a sub-adult now. Oh, God. Void the Tyrannosaurus. Oh, God. Void running straight into the Triceratops. I mean, I don't know. All that I know is that T-Rex probably hunted Triceratops on a regular basis. Because if you think about it, first of all, Triceratops is the most common dinosaur in Hell Creek. Hands down. Whoa, 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 what? What? What's the matter? Did notice the T-Rex and ran away? It looked like it was charging me for a minute. But, yeah. Um... First of all, they, they're they the most common dinosaur in Hell Creek, hands down. I believe they made up about 60% of the total dinosaur population, Triceratops alone. They were really common. Anatosaurus, the thing with Anatosaurus was they're migratory. They couldn't be a reliable food source for a Tyrannosaur. They, they, they couldn't be. And second is... Essentially, we have... We have... A ton of like evidence pointing towards such behavior like we already know that triceratops did get hunted by t-rex we already know that and there's also this theory going around that according to certain bite marks on frills that t-rexes has a certain way of handling triceratops triceratops corpses when they ate them which wouldn't really happen if they didn't eat them all that much so yeah Yeah, preservation bias is a factor. It is. I'll admit that.
I mean, it would. Completely. I'm not saying Triceratops is bitch-made to a T-Rex. Absolutely not. If the T-Rex isn't careful about what it's doing, it's game over. Completely. But, I think people give t Triceratops a bit too much credit. Because T-Rex had to be hunting them on a regular basis. I mean, it didn't have to in a sense, but... It did seem like... Oh, great. I, ha I faced a bug. Now, I just got... I got a lizard permanently in my mouth. I'm gonna relog just to get rid of the lizard. Stream's been going on for 90 minutes now. Over. Nearly 100. Well, do you know that you can hunt? I know I can, but is it worth it, though? Is it? I really shouldn't go through the trouble. I'm too big for that now. Keeping an eye out. Absolutely. Here's my issue with it, though. It could... Triceratops... Rex's bite force would allow it to bite through... Anything, really. Really anything. Even in Kylosaurus armor. But if you guys are questioning that, I'll get... I'll get into it in a bit. But... The problem with that is... Taking a trike head on like that. It is much easier... For the Triceratops to just yank its head up. Oh, God. And stab the T-Rex than it is for the T-Rex to just try and try to go around and bite the Triceratops. It's much easier. You know which one would get the hit off first and then the other that. There's not- there's no evidence to support migratory triceratops. An- anatosaurus? Anatosaurus- I- I don't know exactly what the evidence behind it is, but... If the Saurian devs came to that conclusion recently, then there must be some type of evidence. Footprints don't support migratory patterns. <laughs> they don't. They just tell you that something was there. And they could also tell prey-to-prey -prey relationships, cause... Or social behavior, in a sense. Can I grab a bird? Nope. That was a lost cause. Hey, buddy. Okay, it flew away. Hold on, is it nightfall? Soaring is not multiplayer right now. It's single player. There will be a form of co-op multiplayer, but no grand scale multiplayer. This is not... Yeah. Any Tyrannosaurus around the same time as Rex? No. T-Rex is the only big apex predator in Hell Creek. The next biggest thing is me, a Dakota Raptor. And that's half the size and about one-tenth the weight. So, yeah. Quite a bit dominant. Oh. Now that is a Paleoswanoa. Let's see what I can do against this guy. Hold on, maybe I should creep up on him. Let's see. I mean, the thing is, Triceratops was so common. Something had to be eating them in order to keep them in check. And they're also just so common. There's the availability. This obviously is easier prey around, but... In terms of pure ability and the fact that they didn't eat themselves out of Hell Creek. Logic, really. Whatever. No, 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 no.
Nah. Did I kill you? Yes, I did. Okay, so sub adult, you can go after the paleo swan unless. Nom 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 nom. Nom nom nom. Anki is no. <laughs> Anki is impenetrable as an adult. Trying to. A T Rex trying to fight one would be suicide. Completely. D Long, the thing with D Long is that it's a different branch of Tyrannosaur. In a sense, it's about the same as calling. Um. I, what evidence is there to support that, though? I'm just saying. So let me see. Is this a gator? I can't tell. Well, I'm about to find... Shit. Run! Damn it. Rip. That's a crocodile. Spinosaurs and car Caradonosaurs became extinct 20 million years earlier. That they, they were done. They became extinct. Abelosaurs. There's really no evidence of them up in the southern hemisphere. There really isn't any. Yeah. The. The thing is, there's. Think of it as Allosaur, in a sense. Because there's different kinds of Allosaurs. There's the Allosaurs that we think of, such as Allosaurus, Sauropacanex, stuff like that. And then there's the Carcharodontosaurus. Neovenator, Carcharodontosaurus, Giganosaurus, all that stuff. It's the same thing with Tyrannosaurus. There's. There is one really old T Rex. I forgot her name, but. She was, I don't think she actually hit the 40s, but she was pretty close. She was pretty close. She was pretty old. If you're talking about Tarascosaurus, it is such a fragmentary animal that you can't really determine whether or not it's an abelosaur. I don't really consider it that. But yeah, back on the topic. Um, what was I on about? Oh yeah. Um... Wait. I completely lost track of what I was on about. Completely. Sue is not the oldest T-Rex. She's the biggest, but she's definitely not the oldest. There's another... There's another Tyrannosaur. I forgot her name. But she did nearly get to 40 years of age. She didn't quite hit it, I think. But she did nearly get it there. No, it had a female name. It started with a C, I think. There we go, Bracket Champsa. Let's see how we do against this thing. Shit. My hello there. Oh. Hello. Hmm. God damn, these guys have good patience. Look at this. Hmm, Jurassic Fight Club. I personally think it's a really fun show. Just don't take it seriously. Please don't. I think Sue's the biggest. I think. I can, I can just tread on you. You're okay with this? Okay, you reacted now. Yeah, I still wouldn't f mess with these things. You could pounce on them, but I still wouldn't risk it. I still wouldn't. Alright, so time to just live until an adult. What age am I? Oh, I'm nearly age four. 
do 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 do. T Rex has a freakishly similar growth rate to humans, like freakishly similar. It's got the whole baby, child, teen, adult stages going at the exact same age frames too. It's kind of hilarious. Obviously, their longevity is a bit shorter, but yeah. So let me try to hunt stuff. I know Paleo Swan and Wiz are on the menu. Only adults can reliably hunt the gators and crocodiles. I'm gonna be sticking to raptors and... You know, actually, there's a freak... There's, there's such a rare... I just noticed. Where are all the raptors? We saw a couple of Akira raptors, but that's only been a couple. Only a couple of Akira raptors. I've seen absolutely no Dakota raptors since I left my parents. What do you mean by Rexy? There is no Rexy specimen. Ah, might as well try my luck with this bird. Mm. Damn it. I'm too big for those. The lives... They probably died at around their 30s. Tyrannosaurus. Obviously some exceeded that. And got into the later 30s, but the early 30s, late 20s is probably their reign. I mean, yeah, obviously, Benjamin. I'm not saying that humans only live up to 30 and then die. I'm just saying, like, the age ranges when they hit adult, juvenile, sub-adult, that stuff. It's freakishly similar to humans. Just like humans, Rex has hit, like, teenage years at around 12 or 13, so. There's gotta be some food around here. You guys are taking what I'm saying way too seriously. Nom 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 nom. Oh no. This is an actual bug. If you can you can't swallow stuff whole. You can't. Oh well. Come on, there's gotta be some group around here. No. Hold on. I don't know. I'm, I'm, oh yeah, I just realized I can't eat birds. What am I trying? Hi, Gator. See you, Gator. The Jurassic Park Rexy was around 45 feet long, which is bigger than any Rex, I think. I think, anyway. Or for people that using one metric, it's, that's 14 meters, I think. 13 to 14. I'm not too sure. What's your favorite dinosaur? Um, Carnotaurus? Totally no bias. I mean... Ike, you gotta take into perspective that the di all the dinosaurs broke out. 
when Jurassic Park was a thing. She probably lived off the Parasaurolophus and Triceratops before she was recaptured. Why am I still trying? I gotta stop that. It's instinct at this point. I personally like Jurassic Fight Club, but don't take it seriously. Police for the love of God, do not take it seriously. Oh, Paleo Swan who was spotted. I think it's a bug of how far my scent goes. Because that's ridiculous. Alright, target acquired. Why not? It's very, very exaggerated. It uses pseudoscience. The science in this show is terrible. Completely. Oh, you want to run from me? Did he bite me? I'm not too sure. Well, whatever. Bonsai. Get back here. Ugh, I gotta angle this right. Hold on a minute. Ugh, you jump so far. Yeah, Jesus. Okay, I gotta back up a tad. Damn it. Come on. I gotta leap on this guy. Come on. There we go. Nom, 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 nom. I don't know exactly. I know Despleosaurus and Gorgosaurus had some run-ins, but I don't know about Alberto and Gorgo. They were pretty closely related, those two. Despleosaurus was a bit more of an offshoot compared to the other two. Another one. Snap. Come here. You're dead, right? There we go. Now it's dead. Okay. Yeah, they're very, very similar, actually. Nom, 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 nom. Wait, why am I eating leaves? Why am I eating leaves? I'm assuming it's a bug. I'm assuming I'm eating the corpse here. Let me see. Yeah, I'm biting at nothing. Okay, it's a bug. Nom 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 nom. I mean, it's a very hard meme to make with dinosaurs. Like, it's a bit much. I don't think I'm literally eating the leaves. It's just because I'm in the leaves right now that I was replacing the meat with them on accident. I'm actually eating meat right now. It just doesn't look like it. Yeah, Nanookasaurus lived up in Alaska about 75 million years ago, I think. It was when Albertosaurus, Gorgosaurus, and Despletosaurus were running around further south. Nom. 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 Wait, wait. Oh. Oh. Trike, you scared me. I heard the footsteps. There we go. Oh, I'm back to leaves, I guess. Nom, nom, nom. Jesus, these guys fill you up a lot. There we go. Alright. Pachycephalosaurus didn't live up there, and Troodon isn't a valid genus anymore. I believe you're thinking of the Lativernonex, or whatever the heck it's called now. And even then, I don't think it's there as much bitch many as you think they are. Because the ones up there were big. They were like around four to f yeah, they were around four to five meters. A group of those can easily bully an Anukasaurus. Anukasaurus wasn't that big compared to them. It's becoming night soon. I can see it. I 
Have you been to the Royal Troll Museum? I don't think I have. Oh, that, that's a bad joke. Like, I'm, I'm not even saying that morally. It's just like, that just seems like a lame joke. Why would I do that? <laughs> then again, I know people with pretty bad senses of humor. So, maybe. Not insulting you, by the way. Just like other people. Like, somebody wanted me to put my name as Jeff when a Mosasaurus came up and killed the Indominus. Like, that isn't... That's not funny to me. Oh, rain. Trodon is just completely invalidated now, people. Oh, shit. You turn. You turn. The heck is Pronicodon? I don't even know what y'all are about anymore. Just trying to hunt. Just trying to survive. The last control done is most likely that Light of Vernex, or the heck it's called, due to the larger size. So, yeah. Now, no, they might have exaggerated the size. Like, they were five meters in Plant Dinosaur. They might have just been the four meters, like he said. It's becoming Nightfall. And is it just me, or is the entire place swamp? Like, I understand this is... This is Hell Creek. It's meant to be a swamp. But... It just seems like I've been nothing but around water. Uh, leave me alone, gators. I don't need this. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Gator's chasing me. What'd you want? Microraptor's a pet? Hell yeah. It's a crow, but cooler. Alright, it's nightfall. Let me get some rest. I'm gonna go down to the board to get a drink before I move on. And is there... There's a paleo swano over there. Yes. My next meal. Get a quick drink. Okay, drink day. I love birds in general, so having one of them. I think he bit me. Oh yeah, he did bite me. Oh dear, I hope that doesn't kill me. Oh wait, no. That that drains hunger, I think. I don't, I don't freaking know. Okay. Well, whatever. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to my health, actually. I've, for some reason, I've always associated my, my hunger with my health for some reason. I don't see why a T-Rex wouldn't eat a human. Like... There we go. Kill them. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Nom nom nom. Nom 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 nom. Moving on up. 
What age am I now? Okay, I'm about halfway there. Pachycephalus are still too dangerous. They're not on my menu. I mean, food is food. Wait, what? Oh, a Caraptor. Come here. I've been looking for you. Come here. Nom, 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 nom. Well, it doesn't really matter whether or not I could break bones. Getting smacked with a big ass tail club will hurt like a bitch, I'll tell you what. Hey, Paleo Swanua. Hey there. Let me just eat you real quick. Come here. Stop running. Oh god, did it bite me? Oh, this is the first time I've been bitten. It really should drain your health. No, no, no. But I guess it doesn't. It really is mild venom. Like, really mild. <gasps> Another care raptor. You're mine. Oh, he sees me. He's running. Gotcha. He can run from me. Nah, that was Dromiosaurus. Which is inaccurate. Dromiosaurus is extinct by that point. Let me get down to the river for a drink. Ooh, another pale swanu. I'll come up for you. I don't care. I'm eating all these guys. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Oh god, the packies are hostile towards me now. Don't mind me. Just minding my own business. Drink, drink, drink. Oh, another pale swanny while over here. Are Packy still hostile? I mean, they are. Everyone's favorite formation. Um, I probably gotta go with Isle of White. Madison formation I like because it has like two apex predators instead of just one. I always thought I was always interested in that kind of dynamic. Sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. Hold on. There's something. I see something. Well, game crashed. Give me a moment, guys. The apexes for the medicine formation are two different species of Despletosaurus and a species of Gorgosaurus. So technically three, but no, not technically three because one Despletosaurus replaced the other in the rock in like the ages. One eventually replaced or evolved into the other, so 
Technically not. Death Play Source and Gorgosaurus. <laughs> hey, Xavier. See you, Rubbub. Wait, why is it still night? Oh well, let me get a drink. I can't tell whether it's sunrise or sunset. What is chem chem exactly? I need to eat something. What's T-Rex an invasive species? What kind of question is that? Invasive species are a cofactor of humans. Invasive species cannot exist if there's no humans. Oh, Spinosaurus. What do you mean by five apex predators, though? There's Deltadromius, Bahariosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, Spinosaurus, technically, but... Yeah. Dakota Raptor was discovered, like, last year. I don't know why... You're saying Dakota Raptor during Walking with Dinosaurs. It wasn't known at the time. Come on, there's gotta be some prey nearby. Oh, so the m m m m m source sort of the fuck. Nom 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 nom. Come on, there's gotta be some prey around here. Terrorbirds evolved in South America and for the most part stayed in South America. The only exceptions are Titanus in North America and there was one species that stayed behind in Europe for a while but it became extinct. And they were still con and they were completely confined to South America after that. Oh, I like that he lifts his arms up before he does that. Dakota Raptor was found in 2015, not 2005. What do you want about? Excuse me? There we go. Okay, apparently poisoned me. But whatever, not that big of a deal. Nom 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 nom. Kalinkin was South America, not North America. I already know that. That was a mistake on my part. I apologize. You're thinking Titanus is the only North American terror bird. I'm gonna wait for it to tire out. Okay. Food. Nom 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 I count named and discovered in, as the same thing because with some dinosaur discoveries they can remain locked up in a box for a hundred years before somebody finds out it's a new thing. I mean, they didn't exactly wreck terror birds. They wouldn't have gotten to North America if that was the case. Um, I don't really know about that. My best guess is that Despletosaurus and I'll... Despletosaurus... Shit, shit, shit. Leap, leap, leap. I get it, I get it, I get it. I'm going. He's showing me, I guess. 
Das Plesiosaurus outcompeted Alberto and Gorgo and evolved the T-Rex. Really. That's how I see it. I'll try to check up on the soaring stuff after the stream is done. Dan says that the T-Rex was most likely Despleto. A lot of Despleto's characteristics point towards that. This Venom seems too mild, actually. Like... I don't know, maybe it's because I'm a sub-adult, but... Seems like incredibly mild. Hey, crazy banana. How are you there, Derwin? Any food nearby? No? Alright. Oh, here's a river. An actual river. Not like a swampy river. I got a lot to do after this stream. I gotta check up on some... Paria I've just updated. Dark mod. So I gotta test that shiz. Make sure it's all working all well and good. Right up about it. Then I also gotta update my story and guide for this new update. Plesiosaurs in Hill Creek? Uh, no. Really. Yeah, I mean, technically, that's still the case. There's also a difference between introduced and invasive. Invasive means it's actively harming the environment. Well, introduce just means humans brought it there and it's not really doing that all that badly. Like, for example, snakeheads. They are originally considered invasive species, but... Apparently, now they're starting to think that maybe they aren't that bad for the environment after all, because... Apparently, their population is now starting to level off and become stable. Which means that the native fish are become... are adapted well enough to them to where they don't completely wipe them out. Hell Creek was on the western, was on the edge of the western tier of Seaway, so it is possible that plesiosaurs were there, but meh. Hey Vixel, how you doing? Oh, we got some redwoods now. Let's investigate. Yeah, coyotes aren't invasive. They 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 just taken over where wolves have become extinct. Coyotes are doing much better with humans, which is actually kind of funny. They originally were only extended to the Great Plains, where the bison are. They used to only live up there. And wolves were everywhere else in North America. But then when humans came and expanded with their cities and their guns and wiped out the wolves, the wolves couldn't adapt, but the coyotes could. And they eventually spread all over where wolves were. They essentially took over the niche. They essentially took over the niche. But pardon me. I know that my words come together like very frequently when I'm talking this quickly, but yeah. Am I safe? No, I'm not. Crocodile or Packy? Packy. Alright, he didn't even look at me. That's good. Oh, yeah, bird. Hey there, little birdie. Damn it. True. True.
Do Trikes charge Dakota Raptors? No. At the moment, Trikes completely ignore Dakota Raptors. Like, completely. Koi wolves aren't really a new species. They're just hybrids. Really. They don't really count. Oh, Paleo Swan, anyway. Um. A funny thing, no. Red wolves, they are considered a separate species from the gray wolf. And were. The Dodge have been a critically endangered species that need to be saved. However, recently, they now discovered that it's possible that it's just been a really genetically extinct hybrid of wolves and coyotes. Like, the, the, the coyote and wolf population in the area, like, crossbred so much that their genetic makeup was almost different. Ah, he bit me. Damn it. Oh, well. Do you think we'll ever get footage of giant squids reproducing? We've only seen them, like, three times alive down the deep. <laughs> really. That's not really something we should be asking right now. Hello there. Let me just... Really? Don't nip my ankles. <sighs> Come on. Come on. He'll tire out eventually. Oh, I'm stepping on him. Okay, he's trying to bite me. This is just awkward. I'll tread on you until you die. It's working, Tad. Ow, he's biting me now. Okay, ow, 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 ow. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Ow, 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 ow. Yo, I swear to God. You're dying now. Come here. Oh, shit. Here we go. This guy does not want to die. Uh, it's the plants, actually. I'm just gonna leave this guy be. He deserved to live. Let's move on. That's literally what raptors are. They're just ground eagles, pretty much. There's nothing in these floors. What age am I now? Oh, still a little bit of a way to go. Before I make it to adult. It's gonna be nearly three hours to stream. Over three hours, I think. Oh, a couple of... No, nah, it's a Cham Ops. But that over there is a Paleo Swanua. Pardon me, lizard. You're, you're the guy I want. I'm gonna make the Coyote of Hell Creek a Kara Raptor. I swear to God.
There we go. Nom 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 nom. Glorious food. The Stylosaurus is bigger than or smaller than Mosasaurus. They're both around the same length, but Mosasaurus is much bulkier. It's surprisingly bulky for a Mosasaur. Mosasaurus. Talosaurus is much more slim. Oh, that accuracy. Okay. I landed right on him, but didn't pounce. There we go. Nom, 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 nom. It's actually really creepy at night. God, it's creepy. Okay, I'm just gonna go to sleep. And it's morning. The hell is that? It's another Dakota Raptor. A meal! Come here. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. First Dakota Raptor this whole game. Nom nom nom. Now I need some water. I'll pass you up. I need water. If I can find water. Oh, it's a packy over there. Okay. Hmm. There's gotta be some water around here. Oh, I remember these trees. They were pointed out during the... The Kickstarter trailer. There seems to be there's there's a lot more of a variety in plant life since I last played this game. I'm telling you what, aren't turtles really common? Hell, creek on for good now. Bye. Bye, Alpha. Come on, I gotta find water. Frogs? I mean, there were probably was frogs, but it's not like frogs preserve very well. Ooh, a Cararaptor. That's my next target. Oh no. Snakes evolved during the Cretaceous. They were around. I 
In fact, one of the largest snakes. Um, Paleolophus. It was a 30 foot, 9 meter long sea snake. In a sense. It was... It convergently evolved with the modern sea snakes. They appear much later. But Paleolophus was a new type of sea snake. It didn't... It doesn't have any relations to the modern sea snakes. But... It evolved around... It lived around Rex's time. It lived around Rex's time, about 65 million years ago. Became ex... It, it survived the KPG. And survived for another 20 million years, I think? Something like that. I don't... I don't know. All I know is that it survived a good long while after the extinction event. I think, anyway. Think. 10, 50 million years? I don't know. I scare off a bird. I really need to become an adult. How different would this game be if Dakota Raptor wasn't found? Well, first off, we'd be playing as Akira Raptors instead. That's what was originally the second playable, but then they changed it when Dakota Raptor was discovered. Oh, hey, I forgot about the Akira Raptor over there. Oh, well. Is, is a croc hunting me? Is that what's going on? I guess so. Just need to keep surviving. Oh, I'm almost to age six. Once I become an adult, I'm gonna find another Pele Swanua and a Bracky Champsa. You're mine. I like these guys because you can actually chase them. They actually give a thrill to hunt. There we go. Would it even exist? I mean, no? I mean, I don't... These are very obvious questions. Like... I'm guessing on this as much as you guys are. The thing that I like about this game, in terms of the environment, is that you always feel like you're moving. Like, you're never in the same place, you know? That's because, like in real life, most places look the same. <laughs> So, with the exception of very few select areas, you really don't feel oh, shit, 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 Oh god. Run. Don't stop. Oh, okay, he's after something else. Whew. Hey, Matthew. Hold on, I'm heading towards the beach. Unless it's just the end of the map. It looks more like the end of the map to me. Is it the beach? It is the beach. We made it to the Western Interior Seaway.
Any food around here? Let's just follow the coastline. There's gotta be some rivers that connect to this, right? No Mosasaurus in the game currently. You don't really need a... You already know what animals are going to be in this game. Like, it's not that hard. I mean, when it comes to playing the game and knowing what the game's about, like... I'm not trying to be a smartass or anything, sorry. Then again, I know I'm a smartass, but I'm just trying not to be, you know? gotta be some life on this beach some it's just not ready not that the game would crash it would also be very very simple from like an AI standpoint because all that you gotta do is like have a kill animation once you get past a certain point in the water that's it really You don't even need it to have AI. Oh, a Paleo Swanua, my lucky day. I'm probably butchering that name completely. Hey there, buddy. Oh, it's hissing. That's new. Apparently I surprised him. What, why, what did I just do? Nom, nom, nom. Wait, what's that noise? Okay, there's another one over there. Oh, I'm by I'm by a ocean side river. That bright blue means it's salt water. So let me go on over and kill this other one. Ugh, I hate that you can't really test your jumps. The Earth could not roar, but once again, I don't understand these questions. They're so illogical. Ooh, a Carol Raptor. Okay, this is salt water. I can't drink this. But at least I found water. I mean, in theory, it could roar. Alligators and crocodiles can roar. Just not the way we think of it. Can you, like, come here? Accept your fate. There we go. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom, nom. Move it on. There's gotta be some fresh water around here. Is this fresh water? That doesn't mean that I didn't have one. Like, are you sure you can't? You can't drink it, but this is what happens. Oh, wait, no, this is fresh water. Okay. This is fresh water, okay. Nor salt water, it deliberately drains your thirst. Instead of picking it back up. Oh, that's a bird. Oh god, now my friends are dying from the sunset. This isn't fresh water. I thought it was, because of the bright blue coloration, but I guess not. Oh, I'm nearly age six. I'm nearly age six. Give it a second. Yes. I'm an adult now. 
Or if the Mimas would be fun to hunt as a Dakota Raptor. And there we go. I'm an adult now. Now time to find a gator to eat. And a Gila monster. Or the Mimas was in Hell Creek. These are crocodiles, not alligators. Let's hunt a, a bit in the night, I suppose. No. I can unpack a cephalosaurus now. That's a bonus if I ever find any. Why am I still trying? I don't understand. God, that bird has such a slow reaction time. Creative music is coming back. I don't like it. I'm going to sleep. Mating isn't in the game yet. So there's no point. I literally reached the end game right now. Well, aside from the super adult stage, but I don't need to get to that, really. It's technically not even a stage. It's just like a sub-stage. Drink, drink, drink. Drink, drink, drink. Drink, drink, drink. Okay. I gotta find myself some reptiles. Couple of smaller lizards. One of the bigger ones. Hey, Millerix. How you doing? Stream's nearly over. Just gotta find me some reptiles. And then I'm gonna end it. Come on, where are the gators at? That's a smaller lizard, right? Yeah, nothing. Not gonna waste my time on that. Uh, no. There's n Mating is gonna be in the game. That's gonna be, like, the end game. However, they deliberately said it's gonna be like, fade out to black sort of thing. Because there's no point otherwise. What? Hold the phone. That makes no sense. I killed Borealisuchus, no problem. What about the Bracket Champs, though? W did I just screw up? Was I not actually biting him? I don't know. But yeah, they deliberately said, like... The actual, like, in terms of raw energy, the, for some reason they were just talking about how, like, it makes no sense in terms of, like, the, the time spent standpoint. Like, mating in animals is very brief. There's not really a point to having a mating animation. There's also why there's no poop in the game. There's really no point to it. Okay, that's a Paleo Swanua. Jesus, you're way too small for me. Don't bite me. Nom nom nom. Nom nom. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. The actual thing, the actual main thing with the mating will be the courtship aspect. But actual mating and stuff, no. That's, that's not really a point. Alright, so. Found a Paleo Swaniwa. Still the same thing as a sub-adult. It's the gators I gotta find. And deal with. Oh, what are you doing in the water? Hey. Hey, turn around. I wanna see you swimming. I wanna see you swimming. I wanna see you swimming. Okay, sorry. Run away. Wait. Said run away. Th it doesn't have a biting animation. 
Oh, okay, it just swims underwater. I gotta find myself a gator. Where art thou, gators? Is that a... That looks like a crocodile. Oh yeah, that's a crocodile. Okay. Why, why are you approaching me, though? I can easily kill you, mate. Okay, let me kill the crocodile. Hey, buddy. Let me just numb on you real quick. Okay, they actually buffed crocodiles. They're not little bitches anymore. Before, as an adult, you, you, you had absolutely no problem hunting crocodiles. They're just another thing on the menu. But now it seems they gave them a substantial buff. Now I don't really think they're worth eating anymore. Which would explain the Bracky Champs set thing earlier. I mean, you say that, but the bracket champs that killed me last time. Come on, where are the gators? Oh, I ran out of stamina. Hold on, did I head back to the beach? Did I go in a circle? Bless. I gotta run back. Oh, here we go, here's somebody. Is it a crocodile or an alligator? Hey, King Spino. We're nearing the end of the stream. Now that right there is a gator. Let me just get over here. Save. Swim to the end of the map and see what happens. That's a waste of time and we all know what's going to happen. It's going to glitch out and then we're going to die. Okay, so let me see. Gator is over in this direction, so let me bring him out of the water. Oh, he's swimming away. Come here, little fella. I'm eating you. I think that was bugged. Let me try again. I need to, I need to lure it out of the water. I need to lure it out of the water. Hey, gator, 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 gator. Hey, 
Where do you think you're going? Hey. Swim. Okay, it's on me now. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. He's not even biting me. Yeah, I can't really do anything against these guys. I can't pounce them either, can I? God damn. I'm on such little health now. Yeah, these guys aren't worth it. So, yeah. Crocodilians are no longer than the Code Raptors menu. So, you guys, I think it's about time to call it quits. For all the... I did not mean to do that. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, on the remaining menu screen, it's about time we called it. So, for all the people that have stayed here the entire stream, Tyrant, Benjamin, looking at you two in particular, because you guys have been here since pretty early on, Rod 4 too. And maybe Rude. I don't blame know. So, yeah, thank you, thank you guys for joining me the entire way. And, yeah, for all the people that are on YouTube, th thanks for staying throughout the three-hour stream, I guess. And, yeah, it was fun. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.